well. And I hope you guys, uh, hopefully we can all gather around the circle and play some Smash again really, really soon. But we're coming back here with Tony versus the Six Master, Pac Man versus Sonic. Yeah, so this should be a very riveting and exciting match. Let's see <laughs> who, uh, who in fact is going to control the tempo of this set. Is it going to be Sonic or Pac Man? Kind of one of those things that I have to say that Pac Man has as a tool against Sonic is the fruits. The fact that like each fruit has a timing to it and the way it works can work effectively around Sonic, but also the fact that like if he does use Fire Hydrant effectively, he is actually able to kind of shut down Sonic's ability to move around. But once again, when it comes to Sonic, like his ability to just have, um, I wouldn't say ignore the neutral, but have a way to move around the neutral with such a high pace and high speed, but not only effectively with punish, it is good for him to avoid things like fire hiding and fruits. Speaking of fruit, he's able to pick up that apple and give a boot in T6M's face along the way. It's going to close the first off. You know, I don't think it's too fair, too unfair to say that Sonic does, in fact, ignore a part of Pac-Man's neutral because we've seen it already a few times that Sonic will spin dash right through the hydrant, which usually Pac-Man yeah. sets up as a wall. Yeah, it's usually his wall tool, his setup tool, his trap tool, but like we've seen earlier, like the way that Tony understands like how to move around Hydrant and is able to just effectively like get around it, like we saw that he hit he hit Hydrant and went right through it. Nothing's stopping him. He's he's ignoring it. <laughs> yeah. He's like, cool Hydrant, bro. And goes right through it. Not only that, he's even looking at the fruits and saying, Cool fruits, man, I can see you're trying to use one close range. It'd be ashamed if I hit you with back air. And forward smash. Okay, that was actually pretty slick. Dragging Pac-Man forward a little bit with spin dash and then like, doing a homing attack to attack him a little bit extra damage. But that F smash, wow! Almost taking a stock from across stage. Yeah, really good on him to actually use, uh, I think he looked like he used the neutral air to avoid it. Wow, he's actually able to clank with the bell with spin dash. That's something I have not seen. Good forward air puts T6 amp off the stage. Unfortunate air dodge there, and he loses it though. Two, two stocks to one with Tony with such a commanding lead. Let's see a good combo from the T6M. Puts a decent amount of damage onto Tony. Nice, he tried to get him definitely with the spring. Double forward till here. Really trying to see the fact that Tony was sent towards the left side of the stage. Trying to capitalize off possibly with a back there or a forward air either way. Again, going through the hydrant, even avoiding the bell this time, applying more pressure to the T6M. Yeah, if wow. I were T6, if I were T6M, my play would start being as okay. So Tony's going to go around or above hydrant. Let's start by using that as a sure thing to start to slowly trap him. Fine, he wants to go out around hydrant. Let me hit him with an up air. Let me hit him with an up smash. Let me find a punish to effectively stop Sonic from feeling comfortable of going through the hydrant that he might have to respect it more rather than to leave the hydrant to do its thing. It's time to start playing the Overwatch Torbjorn game and look at my hydrant as a trap tool. What's Torbjorn, huh? Buddy. I hated Torbjorn in Overwatch, man. <laughs> Always stopping me from going in with Farah and Genji. Three, two, one, well, go! game two is on its way. Tony's a tank. The sixth master. I like I, I like how that's like a cool a cool villain name. <laughs> like some kind of anime. Sixth master? Yeah, the sixth master or something. Okay. Tony's a tank, Again, having a good start in game two. Oh, getting pulled up, but up here not going to connect for the six master. Nice, the water box is actually able to come out there for T6M, up giving him a little bit more time with the fruits. Nice, no hydrant play, just looking to land around as safely as possible. Kind of like that from T6. And he's like, I feel like he's looking to test the waters here. And now we saw back air immediately the second that we saw Tony kind of interact with the fire hydrant. We're seeing T6M slowly looking at hydrant to go for more of a trap to one. I like that. 
he may not have gotten the punish or the hit, but it's worth going to out there to kind of let Sonic know, okay, you can't come around here as much as you'd like to. Okay, there it is, spin dash. Getting the jump hit and connecting into a forward air. It's going to close the stock. Yeah, tough, tough, spot, tough spot for T6M only because like he was stuck in the animation where he was chomping for the charge fruits off stage, and Sonic just has the speed to just immediately need you off stage and go for an aerial. So really tough spot to be in. Wow, using the fire, the hydrant water to propel Pac-Man forward, extending the grab range, scooping up Tony, putting a little bit more damage on the board. Nice, good back air out of the shield, sees the cross up with spin dash. Usually, oh nice, this is the first time I've actually seen that clank and the second time as well. Tony the tank, making sure that the hitbox is always out, clanking with fire hydrants, fruits, oh. items, everything getting clanked. Yeah, at that, at that situation we saw early, earlier, uh, he did go for the up special. Oh, sorry, I think it's the side special where he gets the armor if he hits the pellet. If I were if I were if I were a player, a pack game player in this situation, I might start looking at that as my opportunity to slowly punish spin dash if I'm able to armor against spin dash and get him out of it. The tank taking advantage uh, of the soft hit there into S smash. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta be careful with these jumps here, looking to try to cr slowly cross them up. Doesn't hit him though. Tank back on stage, crossing up the six master. Master having a lot of difficulty really getting the getting connection onto Tony's the tank. Yeah, this grab, portal for an easy punish. I think what Tony's doing a really good job trying to once again keep to the same game plan he's been having. And unfortunately, like for T6M, he's just look, still looking to slowly adjust himself around Tony. Here we see another spin dash into the back here and going so far off stage oh no i think that's been like the bane of his entire game this entire set so far is being off stage with a fruit charge and sonic just looking at you like a free all you can eat buffet but take two stocks just like so is it taking able to take game two I want to see a little bit more fight from the Six Master. You know, uh, we see him like setting up the traps, but I don't think we've seen him like use, utilize an air a lot. Yeah. I think that might be his answer for, especially when Tony the Tank is getting a little bit over aggressive with uh, the spin dashes. Just air out a shield, that might be, uh, might be what you need. Is that very fast? Hey, there we go. Hey, thank you so much, Arrow Lifted, for the Twitch Prime sub. You've been subscribed with your Twitch Prime for 23 months. And bless your soul. Almost two years? Oof, that's no joke. And you, no, and not only just two years, but he's been using the Twitch Prime sub. That, that, you have to manually subscribe every month. So that shows he cares. So good stuff to him out there, man. I definitely appreciate the support. And Tony is a tank. We're starting to see those, uh... Snare's really starting to add up for the Six Master. Wow! <laughs> the side B went so far <laughs> for Pac Man. And I think like that's one of those things like the Six Master needs to look at. It. It's like what where where and when his item play is accountable and non-accountable in which he has lost stocks and gained stocks from it. Because that's the same situation since he's gonna be fighting himself a couple more times now. Really good opportunity to go for the pellet again, yet again because I mentioned earlier, it has the armor, it can go through spin dash. If we do see Tony go out there with the spin dash, he can punish him. Baiting out Tony's attacks, you know, Tony really uh, pulling the trigger on a lot of those like laggy attacks when we see it not really work out into his favor. Yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, he has to really be accountable for each move and each move's lag where he's at. And it seems to be usually when he's at the ledge, he's going for a move with a bit more frame data that costs him the stock. And against Sonic, you have to really think about that risk reward factor of like, okay, is there enough risk in terms of speed in me doing this move versus the reward of what I get? So far for T6M, it's really difficult for him. Oh no, it's so unfortunate. Tony's a tank. 
throwing out an SD, but uh, the Six Master definitely taking that to the bank. Uh, oh, most definitely. <laughs> like, I, we're starting to see the Zanares come out, and even the Hydrant, like, used to, to mix up spacing, stall in the air. And um, if Tony is, you know, charging Smash a little bit too long, we're seeing the Hydrants get dropped on top of him. Yeah. Okay, now this spin dash connects for Tony, trying to trying to challenge the recovery with the screen. We did see it work once earlier, but all it really is going to do is just kind of reset the positioning on Pac-Man. Pac-Man not exactly going to get gimped by spring. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Once again, he's still able to recover it now with the second pellet. Really good stuff, though. He's still out of prime position to get hit by back and hit by forward smash. He has to be careful when it's out of, level, uh, out of the ledge objects, too, because you will take damage, you will take a hit, you will take percent. So you kind of have to slowly learn to mix it up. You have tools of Pac-Man. Dark T6M, start looking at those tools, at those opportunities. The last hit of four, they're just connecting out from across the stage. Yo, man, Tony's a tank. Probably doesn't want to set us up for another game with Sonic versus Pac-Man. <laughs> I was definitely trying to take a 3-0. I mean, he was able to catch the Six Masters jump early into his third stock and took advantage of that situation and put 60 damage onto T6M for it. A great stall underneath the stage, make sure that the spring doesn't add on any extra damage. Already have a already have a difficult time putting putting damage on a Sonic as it is. But homing attack going to connect, punishing the whiff grab. Yeah. Okay, one more fruit charge. Nice to get in that space. He had, at that situation, though, with Sonic across the stage, he did have a little bit of enough time to go for it. You still have to respect Sonic because he does have the speed to kind of catch up from you across the stage. And I like the fact that he waited enough extra for that spin dash for that shield to slowly run out so that he can, so he can actually probably try to shield poke him or force a shield to out. Hey, well, that's going to be the set 3 0 and Tony is a tank's favor. He did it. He just spin dashed. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he just did. And Tony will take this with a 3 0 fashion over T6M. It was still good stuff for T6M.